I describe what I do as taking pieces of trees and manipulating those materials and turning them into something that can stir people's emotions, human emotions. And I, I, just, I just love that as a builder. I'm fascinated by that. In my workshop, there's raw lumber only one step away from the tree itself. My name is Grit Laskin. William's my real name. Grit's my nickname. Call me by that. And I'm a guitar maker, and I've been building guitars since 1971. My workshop is here in Toronto, where I've been working all my working life, but I ship all around the world. In terms of the instrument itself, I'm tailoring it entirely to the client, to their uh, sound needs, to their playability issues, to ergonomic issues, wood choices. You do the woodworking, you assemble the body, you carve the neck and join it to the body, and then it moves to the finishing stages, which is actually longer than constructing the instrument. Then we move to inlay art, if they choose to have that on their instruments. I am taking the traditional form of decorating musical instruments. Many different types of shell, many different types of stone, many different types of legal ivories and metals, and then hand engraved with a simple hand tool, a slow process. I'm illustrating clients' ideas with the inlay. And that's how I look at it, that they're giving me the theme and I'm bringing it to visual life. From the beginning to the end of this process, it's roughly nine months. There are things I'm known for besides the inlay art and the, the guitars themselves. Um, one of them is the bevels on guitars, one where your playing arm comes over, another on the back edge where it rests against your rib cage. I was the first to do that and I call them arm rest and rib rest, but they're generally known as bevels. And there's a few different styles happening in the luthier world now, but it's spreading like wildfire because it's just more comfortable to play because it eases right shoulder strain and doesn't restrict the blood flow to these muscles that you overstress. The new book that came out, Grand Complications, is the, the second sort of coffee table book about my inlay work. This book takes you behind the concepts and how I got to the final design. The bigger job of the book, in addition to showing the inlays, is about process. My goal was to pull back the curtain and take you backstage, explaining how I get from the starting point of maybe a novel's worth of ideas that I have to distill down to a single narrative. And eventually we land on a theme that's important to them. Building instruments is like a drug. You're hooked and you always want to build the next one because you can do it better this time. It's all about the sound and playability, ultimately, more than any other aspect. And that's me, Mr. Inlay Guy, saying that. If the instrument doesn't play well, if it doesn't sound great, it's a failure. And you might as well just hang it on the wall and put a plant in the sound hole. So it's got to be the tool first, then, when there's art on it that connects directly to the client. Imagine the depth of connection people who buy custom guitars like this have to their instrument. I'm a guitar maker, a tone extricator. Give me wood and I'll make it sing for you. One sound hole and six strings later.